you for watering me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty. If the trees could talk, they'd probably be like, stop putting junk all over me. Like, that's really annoying. If the trees could talk, they would probably say, thank you for actually taking the time to help me out. They would say, thank you for watering me, thank you for taking care of me, and thank you for taking out the time to groom me. So if they could raise awareness for themselves, like teach people how to take care of the trees, especially when they can't take care of themselves, I think that's what they would say. In this program, it is a seven-week internship with 16 high schoolers, and we explore New York City as an environmental setting, not just a regular city. So we teach our students about tree stewardship, true identification, New York City has a green infrastructure. Participating in the program, I learned how to properly prune trees and what would happen if you like strip the bark of it instead of leave it open for two diseases and infections. So taking care of trees, make sure that trees actually receive the nutrients that they need to not only grow and become healthy and enrich the environment, but it also ensures that these trees do not catch diseases and do not die due to a stressful environment, due to us being in New York City. One thing I learned is that the trees around us, especially on the street, we don't exactly know what they're going through. Like We just see trees and we kind of take them for granted, but there's a lot going on. Like Street trees in New York and in every city, they're just so stressed because of what they go through every day. Just all the sunlight, all the human intervention, the animals. Trees actually need our help. You might think that just watering trees is not necessary because they get their water from the rain. They never get as much water as they need from just the rain. So you have to go out there and actually water them. And when you go there weekly and you cultivate it and you water it, you see how it grows and you see how like more water goes in there. This tree has no mulch around it to make a circle. So the water is running off. And then this is clay clay soil so the water is not going directly down into it's like settling on top of it it's not going down it needs to be like cultivated area it's, it's it's fun it's like nice being out here you feel the air you see the trees and it's like these are not things that man can just make these are things from nature and they're they're like us they're living things and it's just nice interacting with them this summer you know I noticed uh, a lot of the interns really didn't know too much about New York City as in like environmental setting. Um, I know a lot of them just kind of never noticed the trees around them, um, never noticed that, you know, New York City is growing food or, you know, doing things to combat pollution, water pollution and air pollution and things like that. What is this kind of boss or what is it? It is a rain garden. I know that some of us came here just because it was a job, but once we started to learn more about trees and helping environment it sort of became real to us like I know that before this program like trees were just trees to me but now I see the trees and I'm like each tree is an individual it has its own personality how to treat it especially young people should care because right now if we don't put in what we need to put in when we're grown and we're old there, there's not going to be around and then there's not going to be an environment there because we depend on the environment and we have to do something too so it can last long but not just us but for people, children as they're growing up and our children and their children.